Oh, so oh, the apprentices. Rub my nipples. I fucking love the I apprentice. I love the apprentice. They just get 12 of the most tone dead fucking morons. And it's like, I want you to go out and I want you to create a new type of shoe. And yeah. there's people who are like, like, should we make it out of nails? Yeah. And you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. But also, they've got like half an hour to do it. It takes right. a lot longer than that to make a shoe. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Say, what should Unless we call you're a Chinese four year old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who wants to be project manager? What about you, Link? <laughs> Why have you picked me? Well, we just thought yeah. Chinese grew up in yeah. China, didn't you? So, Link, you're on the production team. <laughs> <laughs> Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Freddie Quinn, and unfortunately no Rob Mulholland, uh, because uh, it's it's finally caught up with him. Um, uh, we, we don't want to reveal too much. All I can say at this stage is that um, some of the images were of the most serious category, uh, which I think is disgusting. But, you know, we didn't know, did we? No, 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 no. No, I had, I had no idea. No. I remember that time that he talked about uh, whether or not an Alsatian could fuck a kid, but I, I thought that was just banter. Yeah, I thought it was a hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as it turns out, according to the picture, no, it cannot. <laughs> it was it was awful. Uh, no, joining me today is, uh, we're doing guest hosts now, and we've got the one and only, the queen of dead men talking, ladies and gentlemen, Rebecca fucking Goodwin. How are we? Which camera is it? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I did this last time. Hi, guys. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. You can tell you're on a budget with the guest house. There's, there's only one camera pointed at you. <laughs> well, you know, after, after the comments I got last time, you might want to have it point in the other way. What comments did you get last time? Some very, very mean ones. Really? I get, I get bad comments, but Jesus Christ, they were, oh, the one that said I look like a cross between Drew Barrymore and E.T. <laughs> it were all right until I stopped reading. I wanted to stop reading. Reading at Drew Barrymore, I was like, yeah, go on, Andy, for fuck's sake. Uh, what else did I have? Just loads. Got um, just how I'm not as beautiful in on you know normal camera than yeah. I am in pictures, but that is simply because I filter myself to fuck. <laughs> That's nothing. Somebody called Freddie a fat cunt once. What? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, he was about six, seven and sat there. <laughs> and he did it every episode for a hundred fucking episodes. <laughs> Come on, then, you fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes. <laughs> and Jamie Hutchinson. Free the Nairsbro one. <laughs> Justice for Rob. Yeah. I'm with you, mate. Yeah. For those of you that are just listening, Jamie just did a black power salute. <laughs> Interesting choice. Um, how are we? You two you two met briefly before, haven't you? We did, yeah. At the uh, Have a Word live show. Yeah, I was smashed on off my tits on coke. <laughs> but, you know, that could be today as well. Who knows? <laughs> Do you take cocaine, Jamie? Absolutely. Yeah. You were mentioning before this that you've got into a quandary now. Where, in fact, well, you didn't use the term quandary. Um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were saying that now people, uh, like, they they demand to take coke with you. Well, that's what I mean. I'm the Pied Piper on Mong's art. So they just <laughs> fucking follow me down the fucking street with the keys jangling in their hands. Like, oh, he's coming to a cubicle soon. I'm like, yeah, for the shit, mate. Fucking relax, will you? And, uh, this is your nan's house. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, come on. <laughs> um, my grand caught me on a come old once. On what? I, I, when you say caught me, how fast were you going? <laughs> <laughs> well, she she was in the bath. So I thought, I you know, the opportunity took itself. I've got a thing like come old, man. I can't wait to to where I'm in the where I need a come old. What's a come old? Is, is that what you're pissing, not in like, the toilet? Like yeah, like a like a seat like you can shit in. Oh shit! In. Wait, okay. what? Like a bucket. Yeah. Does but, it, do wait, they also Google it. Google it. I, I can't even visualize. You don't know what a commode is. No, wait. No, because I don't live with my nan. <laughs> I don't. She's dead. What? A gazunda. A gazunda. Yeah, it's the same thing in it. A gazunda. Like is that. 
a party that goes under the bed. Oh, that one's not one of them. Oh, I had no idea. So it's a chair. It's, and it's a literal. Off, a it's a literal deck chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like the sort of thing that you'd take to the beach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks like someone's left a hat on the seat. <laughs> 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 so it's just a de- it's, it's basically a fold out sort of deck chair with a, a bucket yeah, where yeah. you're meant to sit on and so, shit. So because my grand's got mobility issues. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I found that funny. I mean, you just said she's I, dead, so but, I assume she has got quite severe <laughs> mobility issues. But I thought the reason that I laughed about you have your grand's mobility issues <laughs> is because I thought that when having seen that fucking chair with a bucket cut out, I, t- I took mobility issues as a given. Like, I didn't, I didn't think she just preferred it. <laughs> no. I, I think the better. I think the miles better. <laughs> Fuck off. Right, Shut no. Up. Shut so, up. my alive, my alive gran, she was in the bath. I bet she doesn't like you calling her that. <laughs> Well, that's what I mean, because there's a tone of resentment there, because I'm three relatives away from two houses. Really? Oh. Yeah. Granddad, mum, bang. <laughs> I'm back in a positive credit rate. <laughs> <laughs> so, my grandma's in the bath. Now, last time I helped my grand out the bath, I saw her ass, and it was, you know, and I was like, oh. What? What? Sorry, sorry, that was the sound you made. <laughs> I yeah, would have gone like, I was, Ugh. I was, no, well, you've not seen my grand's ass. <laughs> Right. Okay. It makes you go. So, <laughs> how, how old is she? Things that make you go. Oh. <laughs> how old is your grand? Seventy six. But my god, she's got a nice, uh, like a peachy bum. Oh, uh, a passport says seventy six. Her ass says forty eight. <laughs> There's not not a wrinkle there. But it's... even you, wait, no, because even a forty eight year old's ass, that's showing exactly. signs of wear and tear. No, but you know, but she. I mean, you know, she's only had one father, hasn't she? So. What does you know, that do I'll... to the cheeks? <laughs> I oh, the, the whole off. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, how close are you there? looking? <laughs> oh, fine. She didn't have a pile at all. Yeah, I was helping her out the bath. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So I've got, I've, I've seen everything. So she's got a nice tight bum hole because she's. <laughs> oh, I don't know pile. about a bum. Oh, do you know? Do you, do you, I've told. I think I told you that uh, I accidentally fingered me. my last action to my dad. Nana was accidentally fingering her. Wait, while she was alive? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? That's only marginally better. <laughs> Combined. <laughs> There's one. Really? Open casket. <laughs> Why would I open the bar bath? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kiss a goodbye. That would normally do. <laughs> um, it's the only woman to be embalmed with Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was caring for my nano when she was dying in that. <laughs> but you fucking and, well. um, do you know, do you know what? I agreed to do it, right? And it sounds awful. I agreed wait, to wait, it. wait. When you said yeah. you agreed to do it, yeah. did she say, Jamie, I want one last orgasm? No, no. Can you please <laughs> finger me? No, I... I... She must have other grandkids. That... <laughs> <laughs> I have a better option. <laughs> when you say other grandkids, a dildo. That's what I would go with. I wouldn't go with other grandchildren. Yeah, but if you're going to go for a grandkid, are you the best option? Well, it's that on me brother, so you'll end up with a rolling pin. <laughs> Also, you've got little sausage fingers, I imagine. I've got, yeah, I've got Prince Charles fingers. <laughs> um, okay. So I, I, I got to, I, I lived next door to me Nana when she was alive. Right. Right. So I said, I'll just go in and care for her because she's not got long left. Yeah. And I swept this cunt in dying. Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> I sat, I would, she just kept surviving. I'm, like, I'm sleep deprived. So she had, um, she had a doorbell around her neck. Wait. Like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> was it a ring doorbell so you could see where she was all the time? <laughs> Get on that commode and show me. <laughs> oh, so so she slept downstairs. I slept in her bed. So I had a doorbell next to my bed and she'd ring it saying she needs the toilet. Oh, so it's like a makeshift sort of... Um, like a pendant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we looked in to get the proper pendant, but there was We've like... just got an Alexa. No. I... That's a really <laughs> smart idea. 30 quid for an Amazon Alexa. No, but, well, my uncle just made... Because we was looking at like a proper medical pendant and there was a couple of hundred quid and we thought, she's only got six weeks left, so... Okay, <laughs> two Amazon Alexas, 30 quid each, and you can take them home and use them. No, no. She, she's too... She's a technophobe. 
So you have to say Alexa. She shits in a bucket. <laughs> An ounce. I need a shit. That's it. That's all she needed to do. No, but there's a, there's a bit more dignity in a doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> Having a doorbell hanging around your neck. <laughs> so uh, she rang the doorbell. I, so every morning, I, I'm like, I'm proper sleep deprived because three in the morning, I'm like up. Oh, it's like having a kid, I imagine. I'm inconsiderate, three in the morning. Yeah, just, just you know, a bowels don't have a clock. It's fucking rude. ringing right. a bell. Yeah, it's just ringing a bell. Yeah, yeah. And um, so I have to wake up and I'm proper sleep deprived. So all Mary is ring ring I'm like I'm like Pavlov's dog do you know what I mean I hear the doorbell I'm thinking right I need to wipe an ass <laughs> <laughs> so I hop on to the commode in fact to this very day to this very day <laughs> whenever you ring a doorbell <laughs> Jamie's hand just comes out that's what I mean <laughs> so um, I, uh, I I get her on and uh, I lift her off I wipe her ass and the last ass wipe I did my finger went rogue and slipped in her asshole what kind of tissue was she using? <laughs> okay. Cheap velvet. She probably bought the extra, extra value one. Oh, no, someone's yeah. finger's going to slip in there oh, one no, day yeah. before I die. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> I, I love the idea that she was setting it up and she'd spend hours just yeah. stripping the ply away. Yeah. If she's she didn't the... even need the doorbell. <laughs> it'd been going on for years. <laughs> who's, a, who's a salty do there then? <laughs> <laughs> what if she, if she she's tricked you into fitting with her ass? If she's planned it, but I've done it. It's who, it, I think it's a race of who can press charges first there. <laughs> You're yeah, the yeah, waiting yeah. for her to die. In that particular scenario, it is really important to control your own narrative. Do yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whoever tells the story first wins the PR war. Yeah, yeah. But, and then she died the next day, Jamie. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon that's what did it? Did your fingerprints on the pillow as well? <laughs> I'm trying to silence her. <laughs> I was fluffing them. I was fluffing them. Why is the doorbell brown? <laughs> <laughs> what's this white liquid on it <laughs> if if your nan had have said right uh look, listen jamie i'm an old woman now i've not got long left i want one last orgasm before i go out i've looked at your little chubby fat fingers i felt one of them go up my ass and i'm not gonna lie i wished it was me puss right <laughs> honestly jamie i've not written the will yet i've not finalized it mm. but you Scratch my fatty, I'll scratch your back type thing. Yeah, okay. Would you finger your nan? I'd lay her down gently. <laughs> I'd caress her I hair. I wouldn't be hard because she's already <coughs> sat down probably, I'd, I assume. I'd, 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 I'd caress her hair. Yeah. I'd put my fingers softly down her chest. <laughs> Into a medical nappy. Oh, wow. Oh, God. This sounds like it's already happened. And I'd, I'd softly whisper in her ear. I never really liked your hot pot. (laughs) 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 Hot and bothered. (laughs) Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, uh, and then, so I've got this Pavlov thing with doorbells, right, and then she finally passed away. It was very sad. Uh, She died to Agadoo. Agadoo was on in the background as she died, which made me laugh, which was really inappropriate. She died to Agadoo? So it was all, all the family were around a deathbed. Um, and we pushing just, pineapples and shaking trees. Yeah, and we just said like, "Where did she push that pineapple?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had just like background music. Because yeah. what do you play? Not I could do, mate. No, no. Because <laughs> what was just... on next? The fucking Macarena, <laughs> <laughs> mate. It's one step away from dying to the cha cha slide. Oh, no. we just, we just... Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> the party was nice. The party was prepared. <laughs> Your PIO. Uh, we just had um, just a, a music channel on, and because we knew she was dying today, because I was like the nurses had told us and that, we kept on looking over and going, "Oh, she's." You know, every time she was quiet for a bit, we just went, oh, oh. oh she's still breathing. Yeah. And then you're just having general conversation. She died and there was, there was a, just a silence of where we all took this in. And in the background, it was just, ah, God, really faint. <laughs> oh, and it was, made me piss myself laughing. Oh, I wish I was there. It was, so, it, was a, it was a good do, you know. I mean, you don't even risk it as far as I'm concerned. You put Enya on because yeah. Enya, every, every Enya song you could die to. Do you not think? <laughs> That's a good quote. <laughs> Every end of song you but can like, the fuck's that? You know, hey, there's yeah. like, sail away, sail away, sail away. You're showing your age, I think. 
No, it's just it's like um, it's yeah, very yeah, cathartic. It's and, yeah, it's it's sort of like um like waves crashing against a cliff. Yeah, or like oh. Kate Bush type shit. Yeah. Like oh. like like that ephemeral woo. Oh, I think you forget how young Rebecca is. When we were at yeah. the live show and five were on, I went, oh my God, I can't believe they've got five. We were sat next to each other and Rebecca went, who are five? Yeah. Oh. oh, you didn't. I was born in 1994. Oh, you should know five then. No, because they were big Early in the 1990s, so I would have only been up to six. No way. Yeah, but you know I who sh- the Beatles are? I knew the song. Yeah, but I the Beatles aren't yeah, five, are they? <laughs> 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 Four famous. Did you just compare the Beatles to five? Exactly. Well, um, no, I knew some of the songs. Like, I recognised the songs, but I didn't know who they were. And anyway, there weren't even five of them. There were three. I know. How were I supposed to know? We, uh, they, they wanted to do a joke on that, like introduce them as three, and their management went, mm-hmm. "No, you no. can't do that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't have a sense it's more embarrassing to intru- introduce them as five and three of them come out, though, isn't it? They fumed. I was, I was sat on the. Um, the stage watching them and I was howling laughing not just because there were three they were singing everybody get up singing. and they were just doing it like normal but the thing that killed me was every once in a while they'd change position and they'd do a gay little run where they just <laughs> yeah. flip their heels up and then they'd be all dead manly and grabbing their dicks five will make you down now bring it, bring it up bring it up and then they'd do that little gay skip everybody get up my big dick and it was like guys come on that's would you Oh, they just get two dancers. That's all they need, and then no one would know. Everyone's yeah, just like, oh, there's five. That's splitting that ten grand even further, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you just you just don't give them as much because they're only dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Minimum wage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You travel the same distance, fly over. You only get thirty quid. You only dance. <laughs> <laughs> you can find someone on the street. If someone came up to me and said, "Do you want to be in five today?" I'd be like, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'd do absolutely. It. Yeah. yeah, I'd take that opportunity. I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't even watch him. I went and got a Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, we was all in five on that stage. Yeah, we. it felt like we were all five. <laughs> we were all five. Not, all of, not all of us. So, I, I mean, <laughs> thanks for thanks for opening the show, Jamie. Um, Rebecca, have you got a weird family? Never. <laughs> <laughs> you ever fingered your nan? No, well, my, my uncle dad's pretty normal, to be honest. <laughs> and my auntie stepmom, she's, she's not too bad. Uh, Rebecca was telling me off uh, camera once about her family history, and it's the most fucking mental thing I've it's, ever seen in my entire it's life. Bit, well, it's, well, I don't know. It's not that bad. It's not worse than Jem- it's Jeremy Kyle standard, in it? Yeah. Is it more lovable, say. roguish well, than incest? No. <laughs> I don't know. It's not incest technically. Illegal. Like, my mum married my... No, my dad... What happened? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I think your dad has fucked everyone. Yeah, my dad's fucked everyone. That's including me. Um, but yeah, um, my dad married my mum's sister. So he's now my uncle's dad. And my auntie's my stepmom. And then my dad had a baby with his wife, my auntie, stepmom's daughter. Um, it sounds like a football chat, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh no, yeah. The, the family. All my cousins and my siblings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when it's Christmas, does your dad not get confused about what to write on the card? Because <laughs> he's like, he's like, wait, am I the uncle, or father, or <laughs> boyfriend? I think, I think that's the only reason he did it. For I'm going to fuck these kids up so much. Yeah, like you try and find a fucking uncle dad card in Clinton's. And <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this is Chesterfield Clinton's. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a whole section. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You have to fill it in yourself on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Happy blank day, it says. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that... It's, it's, I mean, this is a bit of a tangent, but I can't, I can't actually believe that cards are still a thing. I find them fucking pointless. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. You know, like, like there's somebody, everyone's got somebody in their family who is like obsessed with, oh, you need to get me a card. Oh, it's Christmas. You have to get me a card. It's, and you're like, what? it literally just says happy birthday or Merry Christmas or something. You're, like, meant, you're meant to put something inside it that's meaningful. Not money, like a verse or something, write something a ver- Have you ever put a verse, verse in a card? <laughs> yeah, well, no, because you can get them now where you do it yourself, but you are meant to not just put to whoever from Freddie. You're meant to actually put like, I hope you have a really good Christmas, you know, something a bit meaningful that's close to the heart. That's if, what if, I've done every time since I was a kid. I've just put two so-and-so. Yeah. Then they are pointless. Yeah, yeah, case, yeah, yeah. If I put a verse in my dad's birthday card, I think he'd slap me, call me gay and throw me out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't have that relationship with my dad either. Yeah. Whereas my mum, I've got my mum's birthday card once, and she framed it. 
Wait, what? Yeah, it was a nice card. But I'll tell you what, afraid. how little did you achieve as a child? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> else's work. <laughs> yeah, she put it on the fridge first. <laughs> She's putting someone else's drawings on the fridge. <laughs> I got a eulogy gig from, gig from a good card that I sent. Wait, 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 what? I sent a condolency card with a really nice message in it. And I, I, went, I didn't know they did sorry I fingered your bum all by accident cards. <laughs> in Chesterfield again. <laughs> <laughs> Fell in. <laughs> right next to the Uncle Dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So so you got a gig out of a condolency card. Yeah, so I, it was uh, the aunt you passed away and I did a really nice message in the condolency card to her husband. And he went, oh, will you read that out as the eulogy and that? So you can get work off it. Re- how, how much did you get paid? I got three, three pints, like. Three, three pints? <laughs> did you declare them? Perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> These are card expenses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, the thing is, is if you didn't declare it, Jamie, you might end up having to go to court and stand in trial. And speaking of which, Freddie Segway or yeah, the mate, week. Uh, Get up uh, the email that I sent. Uh, and I want you to get up. Um, Tom has ears like, what did that say? Tom has uh, ears like, little ears like, Freddy likes to put little uh, jokes in the subject. This one is Tom has little ears like a mouse. Uh, click on lawyer. So this is an article that I found. The world's first robot lawyer will be defending a human in court next month. Wow. So it is, it's a little fucking Asimo looking thing. That they've just uploaded, like that's not easy. That's a hammer. <laughs> no, 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 that's just a picture Gavel. of a hammer. Why have they put a picture of that? <laughs> just so you know what the law is, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's like a little, you know, like Asimo robot type shit that they've uploaded the law into, and it's going to defend a person. First question to all of you is: Would you let somebody? Would you let a lawyer represent you? Do you think it's better than a human? And the second is. What's the most serious crime that you'd let a, a robot defend you for? The thing is with a human doing it is, Joe, when they do their closing statements, yeah, they can put real emotion into it and turn the jury that way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This man fingered his nana on his deathbed. <laughs> he would give anything to anyone. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whereas I don't think a robot would do that. No, no, you're right. Because in a robot's voice, that wouldn't sound <laughs> this empathetic man at all. Fingered his nan on her deathbed. <laughs> Would you actually let one represent you? <laughs> no, because it depends on the severity of the crime. Because if it's something that's clearly black and white, so if I'm ever going to court, I'm 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 probably guilty. Um, <laughs> if uh, someone clip that up for the trial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Whereas like, I'd like to play on the emotional side on the and, and manipulate the jury that way, like you'd, emotional wise. You'd emotionally manipulate the jury. You got to. Okay, so well, one of the but, key because, things because be cold. The, this would be cold hard facts. Whereas what I've done, allegedly done, um, <laughs> there's a lot of grey area. There's a lot of grey matter. So one of the key ways of manipulating a jury, I imagine, is to cry on command. Mm. So, go. I don't think you want your lawyer to do that, though, do you? No, 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 no. I want him to. Oh, you want Jamie to do it? Go. <laughs> no, you're just sniffing. Just All right, let's go. A minute. Just no, because I know, I know I can sniff. World class sniffer. I can sniff on cue. No, because you don't. You don't. You um, try it, aren't you? No, you don't cry. Yeah. You just, you know, you look away and and give the image of crying. Okay, I'm you? the judge. Uh, Mr. Hutchinson, why are you looking away? I just... <laughs> you know, is it is it a crime to finger your nan if that's what she wanted? Then fine. I'm guilty. But who among us? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that with your finger. Don't, don't do that. Who among us has smelled this? <laughs> Let he who is without a brown finger cast the first stone. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking hell. How about you, Rebecca? Would you let a robot defend you? Absolutely not, no. 
Would you not? No, because uh, first of all, it says on there something to do with AI and smartphone. Your phone's listening to you when you when you. So yeah. If I have done something wrong, it's going to know instantly that I've done something wrong, and I can't even blag it because it's a robot. Secondly, can you imagine <laughs> it's giving out this great heartfelt reason why I should be let out of prison? Then all of a sudden it says, "Please place item in bagging area." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if it runs out of batteries? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Sent to prison for life because it couldn't finish its sentence. <laughs> she did kill. <laughs> Don. Yeah, it is a reliance on technology, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I, 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 at the very least, I'd want it plugged in at the mains. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I would be up for this, you know, but I wouldn't be up for letting the first generation of robot lawyers defend me. No, I would no. want, like, because, look, it's like those knobheads that got Google Glass when it first came out. Or those people that you see with fucking foldable, foldable Samsung phones. By the time you got one, it'd be fucking massive, wouldn't it? Like, I, I feel it gets bigger in size. This is it. When it's 25 metres big, that's when I'll take it. This yeah. is it. I want... It's not the first time you said that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. I want, like, the fifth generation robot lawyer. No. I want the one where they've perfected all the yeah. things. You want the PS5 rather than the yeah, PS1. Exactly. They got the fucking... You know, the the way that they speak down and everything, then I'd be up for it because technically it should be able to be a human. I'd it? let Alexa do it for me. Sorry, you'd let Alexa defend you in court. I think everyone likes her. And for murder. Uh everybody yeah. likes her. Yeah, yeah. I've heard say, Alexa, listen to me. She doesn't listen to a word you've got to say. Well, maybe that's just me and my fast talking. Yeah, but I believe her. everything she says though. When she, when she says I've got a parcel coming, I believe her. Right, okay, and and you're going to extrapolate that to murder? Yeah, yeah, she's trustworthy. Cool. Yeah. So not only are It depends we... if I was innocent or guilty. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If you're guilty, you don't If I was innocent, over. I'd know they know the cold hard facts and they'll get it done. If I'm guilty, I, I, I need to manipulate some other way. I would think that if I was guilty, I'd be more likely to use a robot lawyer because I think that they'd find a... a li- if I'm innocent, Ooh. I'm not risking fucking being Andy Dufresne because I fucking... <laughs> Robots fucked up on a technicality or some shit. That's Not what chance. I mean. They wheel out a fucking Henry Hoover and you fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. If you're going to let a robot defend you in court for murder, we are going to need a new producer. So we will <laughs> add that to the list of uh, people that we need to recruit along with a um, new replacement for Sam, who has uh, sadly passed away. Yeah, um, that was actually a good segue to the next you. subject. Yeah, it was yeah. getting better. Yeah, yeah. We um, so we we're applying for a new person to basically do all of the jobs that Sam did. Um, for you know the money that Sam did, which is impossible. Um, yeah, we put a job. We put a job advert out. We've had a lot of applicants. I'd say we've had eighty applicants and seventy are from Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which I don't have a problem with. If, but... if, if you are... A... <laughs> it's it, it's the capital of the podcast world, Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> I feel sorry for the people who I genuinely want to have this job who live in Nigeria because they're not getting it. I think you should um, reply to all the Nigerians and say, we'll do a video interview for Patreon. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is not a bad shout. I fucking love that idea. Yeah. Let's do some Zoom interviews. <laughs> you should mm. totally do that. That should be real. Because we could fuck with them as well. Yeah. Like, how long do you reckon you could keep somebody in a Zoom interview if after every three minutes you just removed an item of clothing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know from experience. It's <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even reference it. You just sort of like took your tie off or whatever. And then you just started buttoning your shirt. And you're like, so tell us about a time when you overcame adversity. <laughs> uh, in my village. <laughs> wow, that's what, you, that's what you're living with, is it? Okay. I mean, that's... Look, he's got that little face as well where he knows he's done something wrong. I need the robot lawyer talk. <laughs> I've been racist. Technically uh, not racist. <laughs> so... We had a um, we had a, a thing where this lad sent his CV in, right? And under references, God bless this boy. Under references, he put um, a, a, a friend of his or, or, or somebody, and he's put relation educational peer. Now, what he means by that is somebody I went to school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should totally ask him for a reference. Oh, we should <laughs> ring him. Should we ring him? Please. Should, let's ring him now. Let's ring him. Let's fucking ring him. 
Fucking hell. Right, let's do it. Oh, let's yeah. ring him. Uh, what's the number? Wait, wait, let's just... Can we read some of his CV? Oh, I mean, are you I'm even not, allowed to do that? It's not, not I won't read it out loud. Well. I mean, to be fair, this isn't the first time <laughs> this podcast done something incredibly what's his, illegal. What's he got his GTS? He's insane. on for this guy's a gimp, mate. <laughs> so, oh, he's got a B10. Men- don't mention his name. I like him, bless him. Yeah, yeah, he's going, he's going for it. You know what? Sometimes you got to reach for the stars. Yeah, and other times, <laughs> other times we're going to ring your mates. Um, so, uh, oh, right, good. editors, bleep out whenever we might use his name. So, um, keep going down. Let's read. Johnny Black. <laughs> Johnny Black. Really, that's what you want to go for with your um, with oh your God. with your history of accents. This podcast, you're going to go with Johnny Black. Uh, keep going down. That first paragraph there looks like me trying to justify that my job is a real job. I help fix specific problems involving physical work. <laughs> it involves a lot of problem solving and eagerness to learn to fix problems, and it is not always easy. <laughs> oh, mate, I want to read. I want to read the CV from someone whose work history is just only fans. You know I, mean? <laughs> I, I am comfortable working alone or as part of a team. <laughs> Um, uh, keep going down I like reading hobbies I like reading what they're up to oh it's a big one hobbies so, you, must, know the, you know they're padding it out if there's a big hobby section he must be 18 section. or something yeah he must and be he's, really not got a, he's not got a big work history so is- uh, for hobbies I go out and play football once a week minimum which keeps me very active but in 2015 I did a 3.7 mile memory walk for the Alzheimer's Society 3.7 miles that's not even also, far also a bit inappropriate to call it a memory walk isn't it <laughs> Because if there was memory, we wouldn't need the fucking walk, would we? <laughs> well, he raised £1,030, which broke his target of £1,000. Come on, mate. Also as well, that was that was eight years ago now. <laughs> no, to them it's yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 3.7 miles isn't a long way for That's a charity terrible. walk. I've also... Yeah, but a grand for that. I've yeah. done a lot worse than that for a grand. <laughs> <laughs> 3.7 miles isn't... How far is 3.7 miles? It'd take you about 40 minutes. How long would it take oh. me? Oh, about <laughs> two and a half hours. <laughs> In a car. <laughs> Day and a half. It, it depends it's, how many McDonald's are on the way. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a camp out on the memory walk. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry, mate. I, right, I okay. Him, so, so what he's done, this lad, and God bless him, because I, I like that he's gone for it. But he's mentioned an educational peer on his CV. Wait, wait, wait. We don't, hang on. I've just read the next sentence after the memory walk. I did this on Humber Bridge Hall with my family. And I trained for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's fat then, isn't he? <laughs> you can't train for three. I'm, what? I'm very glad. I'm glad I helped try to cure this disease. <laughs> By working, walking 3.7 miles. No, he didn't say that, did he? No, I, I, I'm glad I said, um, oh How much God. effort me and my family put into this, I'm glad I helped to try and cure this disease. I did this mainly for the fact my father passed away. From this disease. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel awful. You just slipped him a finger, though. <laughs> Still want to ring his mate? Yeah. <laughs> the saddest thing is the father didn't even remember him fingering him before he went. <laughs> oh, oh, how can you pass away from Alzheimer's? If, I, didn't, I, can, I, didn't, to breathe. <laughs> I know you can pass away. <laughs> I know you can pass away with Alzheimer's. Yeah, like, yeah I, don't think you die. I don't think you die of it. Do you? you just die no, because of it. Unless yeah. you just forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To breathe or something, he was yeah. Just stood in the middle of the motorway wondering whether or not he left his oven on. Oh. <laughs> I'd like the job on Dead Men Talking to reconnect with my dad. <laughs> well, it's not Rob Mulholland, is it? <laughs> oh. oh, God, I'm wow. really sorry about this, kid. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know. You seem like a really nice lad. Oh, no, because he's put, I even now own my personal car. Oh, and mate. That is I feel like we've got to give him a job. I feel like we've he got can a... get him on his own. He can walk it. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking funny gump cunt. <laughs> I just I just sat off walking and I didn't stop. Three point seven miles. <laughs> Maybe he meant thirty seven miles. <laughs> oh no! I'm so, I'm so sorry, mate. 
Oh, oh God. God. I'm going to donate to Alzheimer's Fund after this one. Oh, yeah? yeah. I mean, do it now. Do it, yeah, do it now before you forget. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh. What are we doing? I hate this podcast. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? Are we? Uh, are we ringing his mate? Yeah. Right. Okay. What, what questions we're gonna just? And it was three point seven miles, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just try and get him on his spot. What if it's his teacher, educational peer? <gasps> no, no, because a peer is like yeah, same level. Yeah, same yeah. level. You'd like. say he's just said that he works three walked three point seven miles. There's a chance that it could be wrong, but do it, ring it. Oh no, I tell you what, we'll do. We will mention. We'll make stuff up, and then we'll we'll see whether or not he corroborates. Right? Have it. you seen that? Have, before we, before we do it, have you seen that video of the Australian radio show? Yes, that, I, yeah, 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 yeah. That is so good. This guy did just ring a random number. The radio show. I went. Um, should we play? It? See if oh yeah, play it. It's really good if you can find it. Um, yeah, they ring a random number and they're you like, "You just didn't want him to tell me." Should we play it? Right. So what they do? Uh, you know, <laughs> go on, you tell him. You tell him. Why I, they get I, I'll, I'll butcher it because they, it, the one host rings a random number. And goes, "Oh look, mate, I put a random number down for a reference for a job," and they said they're gonna ring you. And we just back oh, me I think up. I've seen it. And then oh, this other yeah. host rings. Oh, it's sick, mate. Yeah, we need to do it. He, he he's properly. I um, love this video so much, man. And this is what we're going to rip off in a few. We'll minutes. rip off. This <laughs> okay. Well, James speaking. Oh yeah, g'day, mate. Sorry. Um, my name's Tim. How are you? Good, mate. How are you? Mate, I uh, wonder if you can help me out of a slightly sticky situation. I'm just about to go into a job interview at an accounting firm. I've got to, I've got to put like a references down on a list. I don't have enough to fill it up. I've, I've just. I don't know why, I just, I've written down a random number and I just thought I'd call it to see if it's a real thing. It's your number. Yeah, oh, so you've just pulled this out of nowhere. Yeah, go on. <laughs> well, just well up for it straight away. I just leave an empty list, but then it's occurred to me they might call it. But I doubt they will, but if someone calls you and says, do you know Tim Barnard? Yeah. Can yeah, you I just... Say you used to work for, what, what jobs are for? This is, I'm going for a job as an, at an accounting firm, but just say that it, I'm just going to put you down as a personal reference. Yeah, sweet. I'll just say I know you from way back, blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you a ripper bike. You know, I've got you covered. Is that all right? Yeah, not a problem, dude. What? You're a legend. A I'm going legend. in like one minute. Love I mean, it. Australians are uh, like. Tim Barnard. It's, it's yeah, a country yeah, full of scousers, no isn't it? And rapists. And rapists, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only 98%, Jamie, not all of them. Don't tire them all with the same yeah, The other 2% give great references. Yeah, they hate rape. Hello, Jazz speaking. Oh, hi, it's Graham Byrne there. Is that James? Yes. Great. Uh, it's Graeme here. From, I'm calling from Kells & Co. We're an accounting firm. I've just come out of an interview with a friend of yours, Tim Barnard. Oh, um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, um, <laughs> who looked to be a great candidate, so we thought we'd uh, make our way back uh, through the references quite promptly. Um, you know Tim? Yeah, I know Tim on a personal level. I've known him for a few years now. Um, we, go, we go back up a fair while. How long have you known Tim? Uh, I've known Tim for probably uh, 10 years old. H- how did you guys become friends? Through footy, the footy club. Right. Straight away. Fantastic. He didn't strike as a, as a footy player. Um, oh, he, he does it every really day. Play, yeah. More come in as a, as a uh, spectator. <laughs> oh, yes, helping out around the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, fantastic. He'll be dealing with um, higher end uh, companies in his role, businesses of profits of a million dollars plus. Is, is he known to be good with money? Do you know anything about that? Uh, from my understanding, like he'd, he'd help out a lot um, with a few fundraisers and stuff like that. Yep. Um, so yeah, as far as I know. Mm-hmm. Um, Any other examples of him taking on responsibility? He helps out the treasurer a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Um, uh, and yeah, he does that a fair bit. How many languages does, uh, <laughs> does Tim speak? Do you know? From what I know, I know it's definitely two. Um, yeah. Yep, that's we've got that one down here uh, as well. That's all right. I was just double checking. That's all I know of, though. Yes. What was the other one opposed, <laughs> in, in addition to English? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm complete Australian, so I never really speak it. So I just know he does. Yeah. Right. Just knew he's bilingual. Um, yeah. He. That's all I know. Sorry. Sorry. I can't be further out there. That's all right. Just describe to us <laughs> the best um, the best thing about him, appearance wise. Appearance-wise, well, what you see is pretty much what you get with him. You know, he's a go-getter, and, and when he says to, that things are going to be done, they get done. Fantastic. Uh-huh. Sorry, James. James, sorry, James. mate. It's Hamish and Andy here, James. Oh. 
what you see is what you That's get. That's amazing. Him. That was yeah. so quick witted, though. And you know what? I want him defending me on a trial. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, mate. He's a legend, love. Should we see if we can ring this guy? And okay, what are we going to ask him? This I, is I, like, ask him, um, and he's he said that his rash is cleared up now. <laughs> <laughs> Just say something medical like that. What? Say, ra- say something. No, he, I'm going to. Um, mentioned his rash is cleared up. I'm going to. Uh, uh, <coughs> let's try and. Um, let's let's think about what we can say. I think we should make it out like he's like put some stuff in here. That he's is... made himself really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So he used to be a pilot. <laughs> he used to be. Do you want to do it? Been pilot, no. He's been pilot no. training. Okay, give me a second. Want... Make it a bit bigger. I, so it's got to be podcasty though. Okay. I think we should say stuff about podcasts. Okay, I'll I'll. So I'll think of something. I'm yeah. good at thinking on my face. Apparently, he says he's listened to every You're podcast. Is that true? What's his? No, no, the other guy. This is the Vodafone voice. Oh, okay. Well, that was the end of that. That was really disappointing. Yeah. He might ring back. He checked lots of voicemail. Oh. I think it's probably for the best. <laughs> 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 In retrospect, it's probably for in the long term, legally. I mean, I think <laughs> laughing at someone's CV is quite close. We're going on tour. We're watching on. No, let's not do this. Right. So, <laughs> dead men talking. We're going on tour in May 2023. We're going to six venues across the country. We are going to be in, in Glasgow, Liverpool, Leeds, Manchester, Birmingham, and London. And if you're not from one of those places, travel. <laughs> get a train oh yeah. shit don't get a train now the strikes get a car work it out but uh, tickets are on sale now they're available at deadmentalpod.com go get those tickets come see us on tour it's going to be live stand up and it's going to be loads of fun if you you're own, a fan of the podcast you'll love it you only have to sit through Rob for three quarters of an hour and then yeah. you get to watch me mm, yeah so if you want to see a live heart attack come to the tour <laughs> we, we talked about porn before now because the thing is right is you're in the porn world. So you can't, you, you still got to get yourself off as a human being, right? Yeah. But when you're doing it every day, day to day, getting, you know, different scenes and different fucking positions and different everything, it's only natural that you build up like a resilience to that shit. Yeah. And so you got to have a little, you know, you got to have a little spicier, spicier little video watching in order to fucking, you know. Yeah, missionary ain't going to cut it for me anymore, is it now? Oh, and so traffic just, comes, just... tentacles a lot. Now tentacles. I move on to dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mate. You should see her watching Spongebob. <laughs> yeah. it's, That's it's... actually the porn that I get off to. Go on, yeah. Squidward. <laughs> Play that clarinet, you dirty fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear me. Do you want to um do you want to see uh, another thing that I found on the internet today? Oh A yes, please. Absolutely brilliant video. This is maybe the most fucking gangster knockout I've ever seen. Oh yes. Now before we start it, have any of you seen this? Yeah, I've seen this. No. So you're gonna fucking love this. I'm gonna tell you what happens before it happens because it will not spoil it. So these two are at a bowling alley. It's a guy and a woman, and they are in a heated discussion, right? First, do you think it's real? What, sorry? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, she hits him over the head with a bowling ball, knocks him clean out, and then bowls a strike oh. with the bowling ball. Play it. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, shit. God damn! Um, I'm just going to talk over this bit because there's a, um, there's a bad word. Hit that strike! Roll it! Right. Roll Same strike. ball. That nigga's sleep is over. Oh! <laughs> she had fucking balls on. Look at the guy's face as well. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Wow. And do you know what as well? She has just knocked a guy out with a bowling ball and then bowled a strike and she walked away like she'd done it 10 times that day. Nobody helped either. Cold as fuck. Oh, yeah, they all just left him, didn't they? Who's that a bowling guy who who always, like, is, like, you know, a gobshite? Who's the bowling like, guy? He, get, he, he, gets, <laughs> he gets a strike and he's, like, proper in the face. He's, like, the bad boy of bowling. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like that guy with the mohawk at the dance. Yeah, he looks like a proper foot. He just looks like a proper gimp. Oh, he gets a strike and he's like, I'm the king, and all that kind of stuff. You look like you're into darts. I like, I like, I like, I like darts, yeah. Yeah, you've mentioned before about like... Yeah, I play tournaments to myself. Do you, I used to. Do you watch darts? Yeah, well, well, I watch the World Championships, yeah. I find it the most boring thing. Really? Yeah. You no. look like a darts player as well. I know, I know. And yet, <laughs> and yet I can't... <laughs> You look like a darts player. He's such a fucking insult, isn't it? No, he said you no. look like a darts player's wife. <laughs> you, you look like Ted Anki's bit on the side. <laughs> Ted Anki Panky. I don't, I don't get it. I don't Amazing. get it. Because all you're doing is you're throwing stuff at a picture, essentially, that's about five and a half feet away. Yeah, but it's amazing, though. It is exciting. It's it is. the same as throwing a bowling ball. Have you seen the commentary of the Nine Data? I can't speak. Yeah. I yeah, can't yeah. speak. What? So nine dart in darts is like the... Yeah, yeah, I know. You're throwing treble 20s over and over. So both players were on for a nine dart. The first player just missed it. And then the second player got it and the play just fucking erupted. It never happened before. And it was in the final. Well, but, you wouldn't expect an atmosphere from darts, would you? You know, like well, it football. Used, it used it? to never happen. No. They used to like ask for order and stuff. So now they've made it really panto and... Yeah. Um, well, it's gone the part of this Amazing. is they got they got ring girls, didn't they? And then they've got rid of them. Yeah. But they got ring girls for a while so that they'd like come out and they wear little fucking skimpy shorts or whatever. Second James Wade, James, James, James what? Wade. Second hand dart boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, James Wade went out and he's the most boring darts player. Yeah. He went out with two of them, I think. Yeah, but the thing is, is I don't know what James Wade looks like, but I imagine he's incredibly attractive for a darts player. For a darts player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's, you know. yeah. that's all you got to compete against, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Is when you're at work and every bloke is 50 yeah, odd and yeah. 20 stone and stinks of crisps. Yeah. That's oh. like the comedy fucking industry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you not think there's many attractive men in the comedy industry? Don't I? Milo. I don't think there's many attractive men. <gasps> Full stop. <laughs> How long have you been single for now, Rebecca? <sighs> Three, nearly four years. Shit. How come? You just, like, don't fancy I it? I saw me fucking funny online. <laughs> so? <laughs> no, um, no, I've had a few offers, but the, the, the kind of people that want to slip the finger up my arsehole when I'm half dead. <laughs> 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 I've not offered. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I just, I'm all right at the minute. Yeah. You had any video requests where he's like, can you put a doorbell around your neck? <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough. <laughs> yeah, just dinging it over and over like you're Hector Salamanca. <laughs> what a reference. Oh, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking hell. And he's made himself laugh. <laughs> you, like, so would you, though? Like, Or is it hard to date when you're sort of like, you know... I don't imagine it would be. I mean, I get asked. Yeah. But, I mean, I've told you about a few times that I've had to. You have indeed. You've had what? what? Slide. Slide. Slide that offer. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I don't think it'd be We're too We're all those offers from Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could, I could have like six boyfriends if I wanted to. I just don't want them because I'm so busy and it's got absolutely nothing to do with me having a fucking bum howl like a bat cave. <laughs> Bruce Wayne driving in and out. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a look up there, you can see Albert. Alfred. <laughs> Alfred. For Alfred. fuck's sake. <laughs> Albert. I don't watch superhero films. I think they're shit. I think they're shit they as well. They are shit. They're so fucking shit. These people who judge them as like proper cinematic experiences. Fuck off, mate. The hero, he has a bit of adversity and he eventually overcomes it. The end, repackaged in a different cape. Shut up, you're all shite. Yeah. The worst people are the ones that really like it and get angry that the ones that are shit. Yeah, like, they're right. going to be shit because they're fucking superhero films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Yorkshire, no private plate, and no superhero films. Got it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Do you have a commode, though? <laughs> On wheels. <laughs> I, I don't get them either. And I don't like as well how they have started making superhero films and putting mental health in them. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, no. like Batman's like, oh, you know, just you know so moment? unhappy. Like, He's a, always been like that. You're though. a billionaire, you fucking knob. Do you know what I mean? Do you know the moment? Billionaires can be unhappy too, and so can millionaires. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Runs away, bursts out crying. 
throws your private number plate away. <laughs> do you know what was funny? Um, one of my favourite hate watches is back. I know you like it too. Is what? But my favourite hate watches yeah. is back. And uh, that's just triggered something that I found really funny in it. The Apprentice. Oh, so oh, the apprentice. Rub my nipples. I fucking love the I apprentice. I love the apprentice for all the, they're all shit. As I'm like you, it used to be amazing back in the day. Uh, and now it's terrible. But well, good, terrible. Yeah, because I, here's the thing is what they used to do you watch The Apprentice? Yeah. So what they used to do back in the day is they used to have 10 people who were businessmen. And when businessmen fuck up, they're like, they realize instantly. And it's kind of funny watching people who are smart realize that they fucked up. But now they just get 12 of the most tone dead fucking morons. And it's like, I want you to go out and I want you to create a new type of shoe. And yeah. there's people who are like, not... should we make it out of nails? Yeah. And you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. But also, they've got like half an hour to do it. It takes a lot longer than that to make a shoe. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They say, what should Unless we call you're a it? Chinese four year old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who wants to be project manager? What about you, Link? <laughs> <laughs> Why have you picked me? Well, we just thought Chinese yeah. grew up in yeah. China, didn't you? So, Link, you're on the production team. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't leave for 20 hours. <laughs> yeah, they finish the meeting, they look round and all the shoes are made. <laughs> Have you just done that, Link? It's like, it's, what can I say? It just felt innate. You know? um, yeah, I, I hate it. And I hate all the fucking, um, the spiel that goes along with oh, it. I'm the James Bond of business. <laughs> yeah, that's what one of them said. Yeah. That's what one of them said this time. I'm the James Bond of business. It's been embarrassing. And um, this, so this week's challenge, they had to go to Antigua and sell um like a an excursion and one of the teams couldn't sell the 16 tickets they only sold 12 and one of the woman the woman whose face has she got a face like a collapsed lung she makes me sick <laughs> she said um she said well i and all they do throughout the task is shift blame do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. like Okay, so you want to go with this one? Well, I, I'm against it, so I'm just like, you know, if we lose, I'm going to bring it up in the boardroom. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. how they start off. And they went, yeah, if you are happy yeah. to go with the historical package, yeah, yeah. then that is your decision and I will support you, but it is your decision. <laughs> do we have that on camera? All, we got that. All they, got all they do is shift blame. And this woman's excuse for not selling the tickets was, I just think it was the location. It's a beach in Antigua. <laughs> Are you having a laugh? I'm in a fucking cupboard in the Horwich Parkway. You moan about being on a beach in Antigua, you stupid bitch. Also as well, as far as locations go to sell things in Antigua, I mean, that's up there, isn't it? Do the you know beach, what I mean? It was a beach I mean, trip. I mean, it'd be really hard to sell it if you're in Blackpool. That, <laughs> that, that'd be a really tricky task, wouldn't it? <laughs> going down Blackpool fucking seafront going... Who's off to Antigua soon? Because <laughs> would any of you fancy whiskey tasting? <laughs> so, no, no, you have to get yourself there. <laughs> Starts in four hours. Anyone? <laughs> um, yeah, it's just fucking nonsense, isn't I it? I love it. I love it so much. Do you know what, what really makes me laugh? It's obviously people have written puns for Alan Sugar. Right. <laughs> and they're obviously written for him. But he doesn't understand the pun yeah. and steps on his over on his own delivery. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah. emphasizes the wrong syllable sometimes. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So he just he goes, does. yeah. Uh, so like he says, J the James Bond guy goes, uh, "Well, I hope you're not stirred instead of shaken. That's all I'll tell you." <laughs> and he just like gets it. <laughs> and, like he's read it and misremembered it and steps all over it. It's so funny. Watch out for that. Him getting the him, him getting the joke, the words right, but he emphasizes the wrong syllable. Like, My favorite words. thing so is fun. when he off he tells all the candidates to meet in a really inconvenient place <sighs> that has nothing to do with yeah, task. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're at the bottom of this well. Yeah, <laughs> I brought yeah. you down to the bottom of this well. Well, what can I say? What is important? Invent Volvi. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Sell 20 buckets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's God. great, The Apprentice. I'd love to. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, it's 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 just it's that proper 
Car crash telly. Love Island starting soon. I love Love Island as well. Would you Would you ever go on it, uh, Rebecca? No. Notice how I asked no. that. <laughs> Sorry, no offence. No <laughs> offence, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I saw myself switch like this. <laughs> no producer for Love Island is going, what do we need this year? <laughs> we, need more hair, about- we need more hairline diversity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's done what? Sorry, he's fingered his own man. <laughs> well, he sounds like Casa Amor at the very least. Like, do you know when they do the truth or lie challenge? Like th- one of the islanders fingered his own grand. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even have to try. They would just five models and you. <laughs> oh well, well, it might it might be Jamie, <laughs> but it might be Jordan, or it. might... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's that sweaty little one. <laughs> I thought he was part of the crew. What's he doing? <laughs> Why has he got his top on? <laughs> you I reckon you're the person who I've seen who instantly if I've been knowing you, I think he's probably fingered his own. <laughs> <hand>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, wasn't a revelation, was it? Yeah, it wasn't uh, a surprise. It, it was like it was like when Tom uh, when Tom Daly came out as gay. Yeah. <laughs> and or eight like, from steps. Yeah, it was like, mate, I knew before you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember watching you dive when you were fourteen. Yeah. Um, I was like, he's not diving into puss anytime soon. Yeah. I give you that much. Uh, would you ever go on if they asked you if they said, look, we want you on? Gorgeous, you know. We, we we want you to do it. We want there to be a bit more different sort of people this time. No, I won't do it. I, I've gone twenty eight years of my life being happy. Go on there, come out. I want to kill me, son. I'm all right, thank you. It does fuck with their heads, doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. Does. literally, they're all, they're all dead. Yeah, well, there is. It does leave a trail of destruction. Yeah, at ITV oh. every year they go whoa. Oh, I can't believe yeah, this has happened every year. Let's still do it. Let's <laughs> yeah. carry on. What, it's happened again, is it? What a coincidence. It must be a bunch of people that just hate pretty women. And it's like, right, what should we do? Well, the what producers have got to like, be kind to this people. I'm going to edit to like a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what I think it is? So I watch it and I think of it as like a really interesting social experiment. I do like it. Right, yeah. Because the whole thing is they get people, they don't just get fit people, because fit people are fucking ten a penny. They get those fit people who have only ever known being the fit one amongst their group of mates. That's yeah. all they've ever known. Ever since they were a fucking kid, they've always been the fit one. And so that's, so wait, you, wait, you think there's fit kids? <laughs> Say that last line again. Can we get that one a bit louder? Go on. <laughs> Six-year-olds walking around with boob jobs. <laughs> <Little> turkey teeth. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, they've always been the fit one in their group and that's all they know how to define themselves as I'm the one that everyone wants to fuck yeah. and then they put them in a, gr- a new group setting full of everyone who's just the fit one and they're not the fit one anymore and it just fucking ruins them yeah. it ruins their sense of self because they don't know what to fucking do anymore it's so funny because whenever I see people like we've been coupled up for three days and we are so strong I, I just don't understand how we are believing it like yeah. how are you believing that fucking I don't know Tom and Jerry have fell in love with him oh that would days. be a great Tom love story opposites attract <laughs> Thomas Thomas what are you doing with that mouse Thomas <laughs> I think she applied to be a pro- producer <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't get it it takes me years to find someone I'd even like to suck off, never mind, well, live with. That must That's... be a problem in your industry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to suck anyone off. I want the money. <laughs> There's a waiting list. Rebecca's mouth's like Tesla cars. you got to sign up three years in advance. <laughs> yeah. They call her arse a strep for end. <laughs> <laughs> family members had it's like it's like being a season ticket holder at Borussia Dortmund <laughs> the wall um, um, but yeah like I always find it funny when like they've been together for three days and then they come in and someone else is like I would like to recouple with Steve or whatever and then the other one's like oh my god and crying and upset and stuff I'd be like like if that was me I'd be like yeah, that happened. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I've, been, be like, I've known him three days. See so you yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was expecting it because they're dead fit. It must, it? It must yeah. be intense. So, you know, when you're with somebody constantly, you're like, this money, this money. It must be money driven. Or they but won't the, offer a price. If they, the price they, is love, they yeah. won't fucking they come, put, they? They mm. put droplets of that, like in the first series, they, um, well, the first series of the rebrand, uh, it's like 2016, they persuaded 
You the... missed a Love Island. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I wasn't expecting that knowledge. <laughs> I, 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 watch, I, watch, I watch all the series. Um, they and, and then the follow-up interviews and stuff. So they drip fed into him that he should propose as his final gesture. And they'd only uh... been together, obviously, two weeks and stuff. And he went, I was just, because uh, he was on Loose Women talking about it. Um, and he was just like, so bamboozled about like the producers were dictating his life almost really yeah on his choices fucking hell i mean if only there was somebody in the room that had experience of being a producer that'd be able to talk about this sort of nefarious industry yeah but there's not but there's not unfortunately <laughs> what a shame <laughs> what a pain i've got some stuff that we can talk about yeah yes let's do it would you like oh, actually, have you got a lovely question we've got lovely questions or oh do you have we've... the do you have the riddle We've got the we've got the lovely question. We've got the riddle, oh, and we've got shit of the year. Oh my god, shit of the year! Should we do shit of the year? Yeah, let's do. Shit can of I year. have the bucket? Oh yeah, you can have you the bucket. Fun. We'll pass the bucket over. So for people who don't know, we talked about um, shit of the year, sort of off air, really, and we put on socials. We wanted to. We want to find the shit of the year. We've had a lot of applicants. Oh my god, <laughs> we've had so many that I've had to put them into categories. <laughs> What, like the Oscars? <laughs> yeah. Best... This, this is going to go all year, by the way. What are the I'm category hoping... titles? So we've got best shape, biggest, biggest range, and most likely to have cancer. <laughs> 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 we'll go best shape first. Uh, best shape. We've got four in this one. Oh, before we start this as well, by the way, um, uh, in case, I mean, this will have happened a month ago, but... Um, our podcast uh, was up for an award at the Northwest Comedy Awards. Now, we do not recognize it or take it even remotely seriously. And so what we did is we um, hired a, because neither Rob or I can make it, we hired a fan to go in our place. Um, and we have also paid for a gimp suit for that fan. Wow. So what the fan was under instruction to do was to go in dressed in normal clothes with a, a backpack and dress up in his gimp suit in the costume in in the toilets and then spend the whole awards mingling with people and chatting with them but he's only allowed to go <laughs> <laughs> like that for the whole whole two hours <laughs> like beaker. Two hours in a gimp suit. You are? Two hours in a gimp suit. Two hours. Wait, is that a long time? No, it's got it's got stamina because he's actually walked three point seven miles <laughs> <in the> outside <laughs> <of> the past. <laughs> so we know he's got the stamina. Imagine it's, that. It's two hours in a gimp suit. Yeah, that's going to be like you know them vacuum seal bags. <gasps> if he farts, it's over for him. Really? Mm. It's just going to be like a bubble travelling around. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like that spot in Jupiter. That's yeah. Just moves around. <laughs> Fuck. What a weird reference! I've not, honestly, I don't know where they fucking come no. from, but that's the first thing I thought mm. of. So, have you? I can't believe I'm asking this question. Have you been in a gimp suit before? No, I haven't. No. But anecdotally, oh, so you're asking her again yeah. over me? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, that is. Wrong. That's what it is for you, Jamie. What's it like being in a gimp suit? <laughs> you know, comfortable. You get used to it. Yeah, you do anything for your nan, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> can only communicate with a doorbell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was saying before, Morse missing code it. on a doorbell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's his that's his safe word. <laughs> SOS dot 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 dash 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 dot dot dot. That's his... a good point. How do kids have safe words if they've got like ball gags in? Do they have safe words? Uh, interpretive dance. Yeah, interpretive dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you're going to mime avocado. <laughs> yeah, so your safe word is like pineapple in the breeze. You have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, let's look at these disgusting turds. Yeah. I've been putting this off, really, to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay, so this one's from Jack Fox. This is best shape. It's just a quite wide one, I think. Mm. Ow. I'll tell you what, a lot of that is... There's a little shit dick. Do you know what Do you know what baffles me, right? Is men will shit shits this size, and the, the, their arsehole just goes back together. Like, they know that. But if a woman has sex with a man who's got a dick smaller than that a hundred times, they just assume that the vagina stays open. Do you know what I mean? So they'll be like, oh, she's got a massive baggy fanny. And it's like, if you're shitting shits that size, you've got a massive baggy arsehole, but they don't want to hear that. Yeah, yeah, Jack Fox. Jack Fox is actually my brother's mate and doesn't know that we've put this in. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one. Next one. That's horrific. Uh, again, we're on best shape here. This is Oh, this made two people leave a WhatsApp group, apparently. Wait, what? what? That's in snow? I don't know. I think it's just toilet, toilet roll. roll. I think it's toilet rolls block the toilet and you just shit on top of it anyway. No way. What is it going to do with that now? What's that? 
That's a work of art, that. Yeah. But but the thing is though, is how has he shot that and it's not like it, it's come out quite perfect. Like I would I would think that if you were to sit down there, that shit's rubbing against your bum. No, I think no, I think he's shit and then he's flushed and then he's come up. Oh. And that's what's happened there. Anyway, let's well, go. it's like you know when toothpaste adverts, it comes out perfectly. No, because if he's if he's taking a picture purposely for the podcast, and he wouldn't know that his toilet was gonna block. I think what has happened is we've put the advert out for the for submissions, and people have gone. I've got a good picture of a shit. Ah, uh, sent... so he's not done the shit. Yeah, one... for you. No, one person sent six photos. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah they've yeah, got yeah. their own album on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, the reason I've done this, I used to have a WhatsApp group called Dumper Clock which was just me and my mates sending shits to each other and naming them. And the reason we stopped it was because every time I had to show someone a picture, my camera roll was just full of shit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, here's Nathan Etheridge. He's called it Das Boot. I think like, I think it looks like, like a baby's oh, foot. Oh, what the fuck is that? That looks like um, crispy shredded beef. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Oh, dear. Yeah, holy shit. I don't think I'd feel peckish after this <laughs> round. That reminds me of when I gave birth. <laughs> Not of the placenta or anything, my actual child. Your child looked like that? Yeah, yeah she was £4.14. She's tiny. I was like, oh, wow, shit. that is a little... Sorry, child. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever your name is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And next. then Richard Glasper, Richard Glasper 2, because he sent six in. I think this looks like some uh, like the Tetris thing. Yeah, it, that's a good one. It's got a worm eyes. It does, doesn't it? it? Looks like yeah. one of them it's got a grip as well. You could put that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. It looks like worms. Can you remember that game, Worms? Yeah. yeah. Worms. That's what it looks like. Worms is a classic. Yeah, it looks like it should be holding a bazooka. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Trying to kill other shit. <laughs> so like the pipes in Mario as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is how does that come out of a bum like that? Because it's there's right angles there. But how was that I think he's I because... think he's done a flick finish. <laughs> oh, Ronaldinho. <laughs> he's, 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 and no look shit. <laughs> he's finessed his poo. He's yeah. I one circled his shit. <laughs> yeah. We've got biggest in now. There's a lot for biggest. Right. So, so we'll on. just do let's, a few. Let, let's just Daniel do... Lovelady. This is a this is a long old shit. That's long. That's a and it's in three bits. Yeah, yeah, if that was all one continuous bit, that would be impressive. That looks like um, the Sausage Party uh, poster on Netflix. <laughs> That's a, it's a long one, that. Uh, Good God. Div Blade also got a big one here. Wow. Oh, that looks like a that Donnie looks Meat like Stunk. <laughs> it looks like a, 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 a sausage at a farmer's market. <laughs> Bratwurst. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reminds me of a Christmas market, that. I think it looks like a water slide. A little like bit. Centre back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Richard Glasper, another long one. This is a massive one. Look at that. Jesus. Hey, look at his toes. That's flushing itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got gross toes, hasn't he? Um, I, I don't mean, like I'm the colour of that. that picture. You don't know how long that goes on for. That could, that, <laughs> that could essentially go on forever. <laughs> that's like them horror stories in I Australia. Like the like, done a good job. <laughs> that, no, that's for a scale. I pooped today. <laughs> As he said, and the then 50 I walked three point seven miles. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like shit, three point seven miles. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, biggest range. Now, biggest range is a good category. Da, 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 uh, we'll save da, that one for last. Um, so Nathan Edridge again. Oh, he sprayed a lot there, hasn't he? Old Nathan. That's horrendous, man. It's like someone's dropped a madras. Like. It's not even different or pretty. It's literally just a hungover shit. Yeah. Like, you can't rate that. Well, you, we, we've got biggest range. That's what it's for. Oh. It's widest sort of... That looks like Wilson from Castaway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Matthew Corbett here. Wilson. <laughs> That's... What, what the fuck was he doing 360 on toilet bowl yeah. while he was shitting, spinning? Yeah, yeah he's done like a little run run DMC. It's quite that, abstract, that. That looks like the Stone Roses uh, <laughs> album cover. <laughs> I tell you what, you're really good at going up <laughs> shit on a toilet. I, s- like. I see the art in it. We've got Jack Gladden. From Hull? Maybe. That's a, that's a Christmas poo, <laughs> oh, no. apparently. He missed the water. Looks Completely. like the ghost of Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does. 
<laughs> oh my god. Daniel Drew. This one's great because he just completely missed the water. <laughs> Oh my only God. got the ball. That's, that's fat, heavy shit, and he's just hit the ball. What angle has he come at? <laughs> like, Where does his bum hole fucking sit? The bottom of his back, clearly. That's like he's got, he's got a bum hole like a tramp stamp. <laughs> he's just sat at the bottom of his back. <laughs> so he's even got it on rim. Imagine living with that. I Imagine mean, living with that guy. This is why I'm single. <laughs> Honestly, well, these are all men as well. There's no woman oh, that's course, ever done that. Oh, oh, please men, yeah. send some women ones in. What? <laughs> women stink. Well, now it, it, I <laughs> they've think... all got a hole in them from where your fingers been. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I know they stink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go on. I think this one's going to win biggest race. This is Chris Morris. He's uh, Chris Morris's mate. Sorry, or mate apparently. He's lactose yeah. intolerant, but still eats dairy every day. This is the range of this is insane. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my God. He's got it halfway up the wall. Huh? <laughs> but there's loads of shit in the toilet. The, the toilet's just a splattered mess. And then there's about six or seven inches of, of, of clean porcelain. And then he's put it up the wall yeah. again. All on the how underside of the seat. How, how can you fit? I want an oh, IBS, IBS shit slapped differently. I've, I've, what? Oh, the I've, defy gravity. Yeah. Oh, the, the... <laughs> Jesus. This is like diarrhea in a space station, isn't That's it? That's mad. He Get... must have been in a rush, shit on the wall, and then gone down, I think. Yeah. That's the only No, reason. I think he's shit, and then he's thought he'd stopped, and then he's gone to stand up, pull his pants up, and a bit more shit's come out. Yeah, maybe. I just think it's ferociously slapped and splashed back. Oh, you think it, that's a rebound? Yeah, I think his back's a mess, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Send a picture of his back as well. <laughs> and now we got the last category. He's most likely to have cancer. Oh, I don't well, I, I shit blood quite a lot, so I'm going to resonate with. This sorry, a bit. sorry, what? I shit blood a lot. <laughs> so you, have you been the doctors about that? So did your nan. <laughs> <laughs> Big fingernail up the bum hole. Um, so how often do you shit blood? It comes in waves, but <laughs> don't say that. It comes in waves. Yeah. I had a shit the other day and it was li- it was liquid blood. Like there's no shit in it, it was just blood. Is it red blood or dark red. blood? Oh, I'm not too concerned then. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that usually means you've got cancer and you're going to die. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. Nice. Is that the just because you've hair? played a nurse in your films doesn't mean you're qualified. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, you should get that checked out. Can't be asked. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, no, I mean, it's not like it would lead there's to only one. There's only one in the category. There's only, most... there's only one, but there could be more later. Um, okay. He's the front runner so far, Phil, Phil Southam. Oh my God! He's just had a session with Danny Day. I'm telling you, <laughs> that's what my shit looked like for a week after. Really? Mm. Is that what you were dealing yeah, with? Yeah, I had a pie all. It were fucking huge. I oh, had to push it back in for the next scene. Oh but... my! How do you push a pile back in? Did you? Really? It's that easy. With yeah. a finger? You have to. Or I'd, it have, is. I'd have tried to use like a flat service, like a fist. And... Do you know what they wanted to do? They wanted doctors, not yeah. Danny D. They wanted to tie a string around it um, to like cut off the circulation. What, they're like, slam and it against it... a door frame? No. <laughs> like, a tooth, like a loose tooth. <laughs> like getting a tooth out. Cut the circulation. The from pile it fairy come that night. <laughs> Leave it 50 feet under your pillow. <laughs> I'd be fucking loud, are we? Pile fairy. Pile fairy. Oh, oh it's words. one of your baby piles. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said baby piles oh, on a fucking no. pod. Your mum keeping your first God, pile that come out. Her first Little pile. box, little box full of seven piles. What was the point of them, like, putting the, severing the pile? I don't get it. it so they tie it, tie it, it cuts off the circulation, and it's obviously a blood vessel, isn't it? A pile, it's when a blood vessel comes out. Yeah. Bum, how on. So that stops the circulation and it dies. And then it just snip it off? Or? Yeah. Well, they, they'll either just, like, go on its own or they'll snip it off, surgically remove it. How long will that take? You, have it, you only have it done at, like, GP, the tying bit. But I was just like, I'll give it a few more days, I'll try this cream. And we'll see how we get on. And luckily, after a few pushes back in, it just sorted itself oh out. God. If you um, want to join Rebecca Goodwin's OnlyFans page, do <laughs> <laughs> you reckon you could sell that pile? Yeah, probably. <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen Elle Brooke? And she had um, a vagina, a labia removed, and she's kept the labia in some sort of pickle juice. I don't know. Pickle and she, yeah, she shows it on Twitter and she's like, who wants to buy it? But it, it honestly, it looks, it's horrific. 
You should what? look at that Elbrook's labia. Right, Google it. Have we, have we finished looking at yeah, the cancer yeah, poo now? Yeah, finished looking at the cancer poo. That cancer poo's okay, horrible. Okay, Phil Southam, right. honestly, get yourself checked Very out. Very quickly, Elbrook labia. Here's a fucking sentence I never thought I'd put in Twitter. Yeah. El- okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Daily Star. I, I want I'm images. I'm not sure if that'll show. She's got an image of her holding it in like a little urine part. I'm going to be selling oh. off my labia. It's in a tub of formaldehyde. Sent in yeah, sort of thing that they kill Superman with. <laughs> <laughs> I would that's attach how... a picture, but just Google calamari yeah, for an accurate comparison. Like. That's what I would attach. She has got a picture somewhere because I've seen right, it with my own eyes. Right, There it is. It's in that she did a TikTok with it. What? That's her flaps, her beef curtains. Oh, my God. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, I don't think she were allowed to post her. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean... But you can see the, you can oh, see it in that see it. there. You can see it. Just click click, click on the... No, no, no. Go down. Oh, bro, these guys never wanted to see your pussy before, but look at them now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, no, the still really small. Uh, it's still small. Yeah. My... God, that is... It does look like calamari, Fucking though. weird. It is weird. Imagine oh saying to doctor, Lord, can it. I keep that? Can I take that home? Look at that. People have done it with tattoos, haven't they? Kept loved ones' tattoos in a frame and stuff. I don't think that's the what? same. What? So they've it? chopped people's tattoos yeah. up? Were they dead? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, have it as like their... Uh, like a, like a phone thing. case. What <laughs> <laughs> <Lot of> proof. <laughs> I actually love the idea that if Elbrook does die, then her fanny lips live on forever in fucking formaldehyde on some pervert's fucking coffee table. Right. I, what I want, so there's five people now with tattoos of our logo. I want in their will that we can have it when they die oh, and yes. we'll put it on the wall. Oh, yeah, turn the wall of demonetization into a wall of fans that have committed suicide. Yeah. <laughs> Love Island. Themselves. Should we, yeah, yes, the Love Island wall. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of flack for it. Am I right? Oh. Oh. Uh, should we do a lovely question? Oh, let's do a up? lovely question. Yeah, 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 I love these. Have you done a love? You've never done a lovely question yet before, have Are you? Are you a fan of the riddle, Jamie? No. Yeah, oh, yeah, because so, uh, Rob ba- isn't. So I'm happy. I, I, about. I'm I'm bad at them, but I like the. It's quite an easy one today. Yeah. I think because Freddie does it a lot, and you two don't. I think it should, Freddie. You should be yeah. out. That's okay. quite an easy one. Okay, I uh, I'm not. Um, we'll do this. We'll do a lovely question, and then we'll wrap up. Part of the reason being is that a what's comedian, that? a com- what wrap up? Yeah, what's that mean? It's finish. <laughs> <laughs> what's oh, that I see mean? what you've done. What's I see what you've done. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> um, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. The reason Tom's being, Tom's lovely question. The reason oh, being, isn't that lovely? the reason being is that I've just lovely had a message bird. from lovely a comedian bird. friend to tell me that a comedian that I know is apparently a paedophile and has sent me a video, and I want to know whether or not that's serious or joking. Because if it's serious, oh my god, what a day! That Who's the comedian? What's sorry? Who's the comedian? Listen, I am not. Coevo it. What's sorry? Coevo. I am not mentioning it. Is it something I, I Honestly, I could do <laughs> without the Flackenbury. See, if it weren't here, I would have thought it were him. Right, so we've got our lovely question here. Here right. is the clues. You've got Rod from The Simpsons. Rod. Not the puppet. It's a fish. Rod fish. It's a Sesame Street character. Rod. What's the thing? Is it a person or...? It's a person. It's a comedian. It's a comedian. Not a paedophile as far as I know. Rod. Okay. Rod. Rod. Oh. Rod. Oh, I, I, I know it. Rod Stewart. I, I know it. Rod I, I know it. And I'll, I'll give you a clue. I think we just saw one of his poos. <laughs> Did we? It was a comedian. Oh, with yeah. Oh, cancer. fucking hell. Oh, a God. Comedian I, with bowel I hope cancer. he's still alive when this comes out. A comedian with bowel cancer. I don't know any comedians. Oh, I don't know. Say. Who's called Rodman? Rodman. Oh, no. Go on. What is it? Um, this is Bert Ro- from the Sesame what Street. Is that yeah. Top? Dirty finger picture. What do what fish do, have? What do fish breathe through? Oh, Gills. Gil, Rob, Rob Gill. We're Gilbert! <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell! Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what, we did 3.6 of a 3.7 bar yes. walk there, didn't we, yeah. before we got that? <laughs> I, I, I'm bad at them, but I enjoy it. Yeah, good. I'm glad. I, I like, it's, nice, it's nice that someone enjoys it. I, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you Jamie. Rod Gilbert, he's a, he's a Welsh comedian. So it's about that gruff Welsh voice like this. It's tough growing up in Wales. I remember one night I dreamt it stopped raining. Never forget that first dry dream, do you? That's my impression. That's a good good impression. Thanks, mate. Uh, right. 
lovely question. <laughs> <I'm in fact. laughs> so, uh, lovely question. Uh, this is from Reb, new Discord mod. Or maybe X Discord mod by now, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want your funeral to be like? Oh, um, I want people to do beak off my casket. <laughs> Right. I, I I've I want I so I've always imagined I'll be terminal. Uh hope. Um and I want a funeral where I attend it. Do you know what I mean? Like one big swan song before we end Oh, it. you're uh, not one of those cunts. Yeah, yeah. And you're moaning at me for having a fucking private plate. <laughs> Thank you. I am on her side. <laughs> Honestly, you could have a private plate for fucking every you could have a private plate for your own front door and not be as big a cunt as a fucker that attends his own funeral. Yeah. The whole point of a funeral is you're in that fucking box. Well, not a funeral, I suppose, but I would want a swan song before I die. I'd want a party before All I die. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Have a party. Right, so what, but uh, then I'm, your funeral. All right, my funeral. I want it, you know. Um, I want it all black and miserable. I yeah. don't. I don't want. She what like to wear? You, when you say when you say all black, you mean like the people? <laughs> I want all the, all the every, Nigerian like a gospel choir. <laughs> every, everyone that applied for our fucking yeah. Nigerian yeah, community yeah. outreach manager. I want a black American choir singing. Don't look back in anger. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, can't wait. She can't wait. <laughs> I want, you know how people are like, I just, she loves pink, wear something pink. I want that, but with a swaz sticker. <laughs> oh, do you know what I do? Just wear, just wear a little one. Just wear a little swaz oh. sticker. What Everyone want, bring a poached egg. <laughs> what I want is just to tell one person it's all colour. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what because he was a comedian yeah. they said dress as a clown yeah, he wanted fancy dress <laughs> come on there's a little cheerleader yeah, yeah. your funeral oh god what about yours Rebecca we've already discussed my funeral I want someone such as yourself yeah to stand up and do you really think he's going to outlive you <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going on Love you Island you, yeah. you don't know how bad her depression is <laughs> it, chronic like, I want someone that can like stand up and lie profusely, but have the whole audience for audience for me. <laughs> <laughs> Selling tickets. Wow. <laughs> Fucking we'll have have Only fans family. get a discount. <laughs> Only family and friends are all the same people. But yeah, all them... Um, Get the black nodding along, believing it. So you be like, obviously, Rebecca absolutely loved sex. There was yeah. nothing more that she loved than getting ploughed. And everyone would be like, yeah, yeah, that's what she said. But you know that I yeah. can't be fucking arsed. <laughs> like, I just, no. Was, and then, yeah, she, yeah. She, she didn't like talking about money. She was so humble. And just, I would just want the whole, just one person, one or two people to know that. Yeah. She had a normal I mean, reg. She had a normal <laughs> reg given from the dealership. I think this was spoken up before we came out about yeah, the reg yeah. play. Oh, yeah, it was. Basically, basically <laughs> Jamie, put, Jamie said three things in a row that annoys him, and Rebecca's got them all. <laughs> And in this jar here, I hold her fanny lips. <laughs> ah, it's <laughs> L. Brooks. You're all fucking rats. Yeah. Here is, here is Rebecca's I labia. Want... Do I have ten pounds? <laughs> yeah, I've got ten okay. pounds. I've got ten pounds. I've got twelve pounds. I've got twelve pounds. I've got fifteen pounds. My dad. Oh God. My dad and me uncle, same person. <laughs> yeah. We did again this to each other. So, so... <laughs> <laughs> I want one last lick of that. <laughs> Sold to Uncle Dad. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Right, that's an episode, mate. Let's go. Oh, right, okay. Before you go, both thank you ever so much for doing this because this has been loads of fun. Uh, what can people find you on? Plug, plug, plug. Jamie Hutchinson. Uh, yeah, uh, Hot Water Screen Room podcast available where you get your podcast on YouTube. I'm going on tour. It's getting announced um, in end of Feb, early March. So check me Twitter, Jamie H Comedy for dates. Rebecca Goodwin. Um, you can find me over on rebeccagoodwin.co.uk. And uh, if you've enjoyed us and you want to become a patron, patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod. You can join up for as little as three quid a month. And for that, you get an extra episode every single week, plus all the bonus content that we do, all the specials that we do, access to all the fucked up videos that we watch, and a ton of other great shit, and a discount on our merchandise as well. You get 10% off. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, everyone. Wait, 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 wait. What? And we're doing Taskmaster. Oh, we're doing a Taskmaster, and these two have both, uh, they've, they've both been on it, aren't they? Yeah, they're doing tasks, so we're going to do a live show. It's going to be called Task Bastard. 
and it's going to be very, very, very funny. And we also have a drag queen special. We've got a fucking hardcore wrestler special. We have the sex dungeon special. We've got Rob's punishment sets, but we've got loads of stuff on there now. So, and you can get it all for like literally three quid a month, which is less than a pound a week. Um, thank you ever so much for listening and go fuck yourself. Bye-bye. Yeah.